And I just remembered the river as a boy. This river was full of trees and logs and big holes and washes here and there. And it ran all over the place and it was fantastic fishing. In the 20s, I believe it was, they decided to put a railroad through here. And they didn't want to put the railroad over the hill. They wanted it right up the bottom of the valley floor. Then they shoved the whole river all the way over against this bluff. It's easy to see where the river used to go in, the, in that piece. It's never been plowed or farmed, and so you can tell where that river used to be. And we started thinking about what it would be like if it could meander, slow down, you know, and go it like it used to instead of this straight, fast shot. This light lines that kind of goes straight through here is the old channel or the pre-project channel. And then these lines through here is the re-meandered river channel. So when we go back in there and we put meanders back into this river, we create areas where there are pools, where there are uh, riffles, uh, deeper water, shallower water. And so this creates environments that are extremely diverse. This is our fish salvage crew. This is our core group of people who, who we uh, requested their assistance some months ago. So we bring them down here and the biologists identify them in their species. They also take some scale samples for aging. They're uh, measuring them for weight and size. Three salmon is in there, isn't it? This is the first step of a thousand mile journey, really. Every curve that we put in this river gives something else a chance at life. It makes the ecosystem better, makes the environment better, makes the world better. I think it's the wave of the future. I think we're going to see a lot more of it, you know. Restoration is, is uh, it's obviously a big part of everybody's life and, and the benefits from it are, uh, are, are priceless. My experience with anything with, on the land is if you are willing to give it some tender love and care, why it just changes almost immediately. I feel, you know, I feel just, <laughs> I can't say how lucky I feel that I can go home at night and put on my waders and come back down here in 15 minutes, you know, I'm, I'm fishing in a darn good trout stream.